Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to RoboCraft X, a brand new creative sandbox game that is in the very, very early stages of development and updating very, very frequently. And there's another new update that I'm really excited to show you guys. And we're also going to be looking at a lot, a lot of new challenges that have been introduced into the play mode of the game, where we get to uh, see what other people have created. So first thing I'm really loving about this update is we now have actual first person mode in this, which I just think first person mode is awesome because my character isn't in the way of my view as I'm trying to build things. Uh, the other thing I've noticed is I think they've changed the densities and masses of certain blocks. So uh, this catapult or like seesaw thing that I made now no longer works the way it was intended at all, which is understandable if they're going to change masses, then obviously things that depend on mass are going to change. But what I really, really, really like about this update in particular is this is what's really setting this game apart from other sandbox building games. And that is the way that they are doing the scalable building. So when I built this sphere over there, it actually took me a little bit to get it just right. And I don't even know if I got it perfectly right. It might be off by like a block or something. So what they've done to make it easier to know exactly how big you're building something is they've given us dimension information as we're scaling our block. So if I just want to build a perfectly regular cube, I just click and drag and now I can actually see the dimensions of the cube. So if I want to build a 10 by 10 by 10 cube, I go ahead and I go 10 by 10 on that axis and then extend this out to 10. And now I know I have a perfect cube rather than having to count it out myself or estimate it. So now if I want to build a giant sphere that I know is perfectly spherical, it is so easy to do. I just got to drag this out like this and then I got to make sure those first two numbers match. Let's go 30 by 30. There we go, 30 by 30. Then I release the button and then I continue dragging until that next number reaches 30. There we go. And now I've got a gigantic 30 by 30 by 30 sphere. And this applies to any shape and size of block. So if I want to do a curved side of this, I can just drag this out like that. I can extend it out like that. And then I could just fill this in very, very easily by dragging this out. And then I can add the curve block back over on this side, just like that. Oh, and I could even just drag it out more like that if I wanted to. Yeah, check that out. I can make like a super, super round part there. And now let's say I want this last part to be a wedge that goes all the way back down to the edge. I just got to do that and check out this weirdly shaped shape I have here. So this scalability could be used to make some really, really interesting shapes. I'm going to try something weird here. I don't like there's some pieces I haven't really used yet. And I just want to see what would happen if I take this cone shape. Oh, Oh, that's interesting. So check that out. So the other cool thing about this is uh, you can place individual blocks still as well, just like this. And now the thing about these big shapes is they're a single object. So if I went to delete like this and I accidentally clicked on the big object, previously it would just delete the entire big object. But now, as you can see, there's a deletion timer. So if I hold it down, that is when it gets deleted. So that prevents a lot of unnecessary deletions that you didn't mean to do. Now, before we get into some player made challenges to see what people have been doing with this type of building, there's one thing that I wish this game had that I understand why it doesn't so far. And I'll explain exactly what that is. So say with this big, big cube here, we'll delete that. This, I made this big, big cube. Now this is technically one object. But what if I wanted to take away this corner piece and add like, you know, a rounded slope on this particular corner? I can't just delete that one block, unfortunately, because this is treated as one big object that I made scalable. So I would love the ability to build a giant scalable object even like this and then just be able to like poke holes in it or something for whatever purpose. But unfortunately, they treat it as a single object that I have to make and delete all as one. Now thinking about it as a cube, it seems weird why they wouldn't do that. But then when you think about the cube as something like a sphere, it all of a sudden makes sense why this would be difficult to implement. Because what if I want to just delete one block out of the sphere? Because I did the same thing with the sphere. I just scaled it to a three dimensional object. But if I just go to delete one block out of a sphere, what do exactly do I delete since it's not made up of cubes? And that same kind of logic applies to slopes like this. If I just delete one block out of the middle of the slope, what actually happens? 
Like if I want to delete just this end piece off the slope, what should happen? If just that part gets removed, then there's this weird little sliver that you can't really build on anymore. But at the same time, if it just like rescales it in one block, that makes sense for this. But what about a three dimensional object like this where you can't just rescale it? So I definitely see the issues with this, but when it comes to things made up of actual single blocks, like a cube would be, I think it would be awesome to be able to delete individual pieces since, uh, since they all just fit within the grid anyway. But for now, at least we get more control over what we're deleting. But the ability to just scale any shape block like this is just a huge, huge utility in a sandbox building game. And that just makes me really, really excited to see where this game is going to go. Okay, so let's go ahead and hop on over to the community games. And uh, there's apparently a lot more that's been added to this. So I'm really curious. Wow, there's a whole... Wow, it just keeps loading more and more and more. How many are there? Whoa, check this out. We got a monorail ride by Herperlerpicus. <laughs> Herperlerpicus. That's probably the most fun name I've ever seen. Herpalerpicus. Apparently we gotta set the gravity to negative one though. All right, so I guess this is the boarding area and this probably, I don't, oh, ooh, ooh, cool, cool. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Uh, okay, uh oh, oh, I don't know if that's how that's supposed to, it was, did I do that too much? I'm sorry. All right, we'll just, we'll just go right here, right, right there. All right, we're in, we're in, I think. Uh, there's this, whoa. Whoa! Okay, we're moving. We're moving. This thing works. It actually works. I can't see outside of here, though, because I'm inside. <laughs> Alright, we're going. It's an actual monorail. I kind of I kind of want to go outside. So I have I have to set gravity to negative one for this. They said in the instructions. So that's why I'm super, super flighty. Check this out. Wait, how did he do this? Are these on hinges? Did he make these turns on hinges? It looks like they are. Oh, I kind of want to, I kind of want to pull that lever. I'm going to wait until, I'm going to wait until it goes past this. I'm going to see what this lever does. I'm assuming this lever is what creates the curve. Look at that. This is amazing. All right, and, oh, okay. Or it does that. It supports the track. Awesome. Ooh, what does this one do? What does this one do? And, and oh no. <laughs> oh no. Oh, that was not what I was expecting at all. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Oh, that must have... Uh-oh. Oh, too much. Too much. Yeah, that must have taken a lot of fine-tuning. <laughs> so, yeah, obviously it's a working monorail when you don't completely destroy it. So, let's go ahead and check out what other community challenges uh, are offering us. All right, this looks really cool. This is Robot Boxing Battle by BR Industries. Let's see how these things behave. Oh, is it? This is our control panel here. All right, let's see. Oh, this is awesome. Oh, cool. You can dodge back and forth. These are awesome robots. And you got... Oh, I... Oh, oh, no. I, <laughs> I guess I win. <laughs> That's awesome, though. Oh man, when this game gets like driver's seat so we can actually control things with buttons rather than having to manually control each lever, that's gonna be awesome. See, I'm curious though, what does this switch behind me do that he's blocking my access to? Uh, oh, oh, that's a reset button. So if my head gets knocked off, I can put it back up with that. You thought of everything. All right, let's get another good punch in here. We're gonna dodge to the right. We're gonna give him a good left, left hook and his head falls off. Another really, really clever use of all these blocks in this game here. All right, let's hop over to another game. This is awesome. All right, the name of this piques my attention. Structural Smash by CyberDragon123. Apparently, this archite architecture has seen better days. Knock it down before it causes any problems. Whoa. Ooh. Oh, do I, I have to build something to knock it down? Whoa. That's amazing. That is actually amazing. Look at these pieces he created that all interlock with each other. Oh, that is so satisfying. All right, I'm going to try to do a little bit of a cheat here for this. <laughs> I'm not going to make a projectile thing. I'm just going to make something that I'm hoping is going to be able to reach over there and uh, basically annihilate it. All right, so I don't have any infinitum blocks, which are the static blocks down here. So I have to make something with a base that's going to hold itself. 
Actually, you know what? I'm gonna use a servo axle instead of a motor. I think a servo axle is gonna work a little bit better. All right, and then uh, I'm just gonna do uh, piston on piston on piston on pist- Oops, uh, delete that one. On piston on piston and hope that this is gonna reach all the way out there and then we're gonna move it around and uh, hopefully it's gonna just get demolished. Oh no. Oh, they're not- They don't stay very straight, do they? Well, all right. Uh, oh, this isn't even going the right way either. Okay, hold on. Hold on. What happens if we do this? Oh, okay, there we go. Oh, I know what to do. There's a solution here. I don't know if these are gonna be strong enough, but I'm gonna try to use a servo hinge to move this upwards. All right, let's see if this works. All right, come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. All right. Are you guys ready for this? And go. Oh, oh. <laughs> it broke. <laughs> we broke it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We move this up. There we go. I'm going to move it right just a little bit. Uh, nope. Too much. Too much. Hold on. Uh, is that? I think that's good. All right. And now I'm just going to try to gently go forward. Here we go. Don't break, don't break. We're good, we're good, we're good. Okay, don't break, don't, all right. Just move this up a little bit more. Oh no, hold on. Ah, ah. Okay, no, we're okay, we're okay. Uh, that's as up as it's gonna go. All right, now let's move this to the right. Oh no, all right, hold on, hold on. Eh. Eh. Okay, this isn't working as well as I thought. All right, bring it back. Bring it on back. Wow. Wow. I did not expect that. This is a really solid creation. All right, well, let me try something here. Right now, this is moving too much. So if I put another one on two, I think they should combine for a total. So now if I move this a little bit, it should move less. Oh, wow, that was perfect. Okay, move this up a little bit. I think I just, I really need to get like a direct hit on this thing and go. Did I just m literally miss everything? Okay, and back and go and back. <laughs> I don't know what's going on anymore. Oh, what? Uh oh, I think we broke it. Okay, what happens? I, I know I'm just going to break this even more, but what happens if I uh, take the end of this and I put something a little bit, a little bit denser on there? All right, now it's probably not even going to be able to lift up, like, at all. Yeah, it's not even... It's trying. Oh, no. Okay, all right, hold on. Okay, that's not too bad. A little bit to the right. Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. And go! Is it reaching it? Is it not... Is it not reaching it? What's happening? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And go! Eh, eh. Oh, where are you going? Where are you? <laughs> um, my eye. Oh, oh, oh. It's almost kind of working. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. We're getting closer. We're moving ourselves closer. Just don't break. Do not break. I just have to aim you a little bit more to the right. That could, that could work. That could work. All right, calm down. How about slightly down? All right, we're just going to do it on the upswing. Down, down, and then up. That was, ooh, that was close. We almost did something there. I got another idea. I just got another idea. All right, we're gonna move this over a little bit. Now my goal is to get it to go to the other side. We're gonna go to the other side and... <laughs> it went to the other side. I was hoping it would still be attached though, is the thing. All right, so now out of curiosity, if I just, if I end up doubling this thing up, is it going to make it stronger? All right, let's see how this goes. I feel like that's a little bit stronger. Oh, too much, too much. Just a little bit, just a little bit. All right, and go. Mm, 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 I don't know how I feel about this one. I feel like this has to work at some point. Oh, that was close. If I just aim a little bit higher, if I can get the top of this. Oh, 
We got this. All I need is more weight. Oh no, rubber isn't conductive. So that means that our controls are not translating over there. You know what? That's fine. That just means I have to build this part of it out of conductive material and then the rest of it can be rubber. And then I can just add some more weight to the back. Yeah, that should be fine. All right, now let's see what kind of difference this makes. All right, lift it up and ready. Here we go. Here we go. Three, two, one. Huh. Oh, oh, we did it. We did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man, that took a little bit more than I expected. This thing, I love these pieces. Look at these. These pieces are so well done. They just interlink with each other. All right, well, that was, I spent a lot more time on this one than I expected to, but uh, that was actually a really fun experiment. I learned a lot from it. I also don't know if you guys noticed, but they've actually added collisions to the um, the extended pistons because before they didn't have collisions in the, in the extension portion, but now they do have collisions. So that's a big improvement as well. So I hope you guys are enjoying the, oh, there it goes. I hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Let me know what you'd like to see in future episodes. If you missed the previous Robocraft X episodes, then go ahead and check those out on the playlist right here. You can see just how far this game has come in just a few months. I hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman and I'll see you next time. Bye.